Hello Stampin' Friends and welcome. This is Dee Osborne and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we will be making these special wedding cards that can match uh, whatever color the bride is using for her wedding. So you'll have a custom made card for your wet for the person's wedding that you're giving the card to. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this with some with several Stampin' Up! products. So if you like this video, um, please like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos. And leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this. Um, and uh, I will be sure to comment back to you. I'll answer all comments. Don't forget that it is celebration. So for every $50 that you spend, if you go to my website at www.deebeststamping.stampinup.net, for every $50 that you spend stamping up right now during celebration, will allow you to order something for free from the celebration catalog. And if you need a catalog, leave me a comment and I'll be happy to send you one. Also, all orders of $40 or more will receive a bonus gift from me. So let's dive in and let's see how to make these fun cards. Uh, I made this card for my daughter's wedding that's coming up this spring. And she is using um, the, for her colors, she's using the birthstones. So hers is a garnet and his is a sapphire. So I used these colors for her card. Um, and then I thought, how fun would it be to make some other colors, right? And so this one is Flirty Flamingo. This one, this one I did as Blushing Bride, and it looks kind of brown, but it's actually kind of a pinkish, a, you know, a, a, a mauve kind of pinkish color. Um, I showed my daughter um, the cards, and she said this was her favorite. <laughs> I said, but it's not your colors, honey. And she said, well, I know, but that one's pretty. <laughs> so she liked this one. Um, but today we are going to do, um, one in like a purpley lavender color. We're going to use Highland Heather. So let's get started and let's, uh, let's see what we need to do that. So, um, we're going to be using the bouquet of love hybrid embossing folder. And I'm going to show you the technique um, to do this. I've used this technique before with a brayer, but I'm doing it a little bit different this time. Um, so this hybrid embossing folder, uh, not only, this is it right here. It not only embosses, dry embosses your paper, but it has, it comes with a die set and the die set is called um, the bouquet of love dies. Okay. So you have the bouquet of love hybrid embossing folder and the bouquet of love dies. And these are the dies that are in that set. And it also comes with this one. And this die fits that you go to the negative side. So this is the raised side. And then the negative side where it's the heart is recessed, you know, it's kind of like a little, little ditch, you know, <laughs> So, um, that is the negative side and you put your die in there just like that. It fits in there perfectly. See, it doesn't even move around. It just nestles down in there and it's a stitch die. So the stitch piece goes up cause your paper is going to go on top like that. So, but let me show you, um, what we're going to do to this embossing folder to get that, um, two tone color. Okay. So I'm going to use, um, the Highland Heather ink, ink pad. And what we're going to do is we are just going to um, ink up this whole side of this, the negative side of this embossing folder. We'll put our die down there and then we'll put a piece of white cut at five and a quarter by four. And I'll have all the dimensions down below. I'll have all the supplies and all the dimensions in the description below. So you'll know um, you know, what to, um, cut your paper to, or if you need any supplies, you'll know exactly what you need. So it'll all be down below. So after you ink it up and you put the dye in there, you're going to put the white piece of paper, the basic white cardstock on top. Okay. So let's do that. And then we'll run it through our 
um, die cut machine. So we're just going to take the ink pad just like this and we're just going to um, ink it up. Now I will caution you to have some baby wipes handy because this does get a little messy. You do get ink on yourself and the last thing you want to do is to get ink on your card where you don't want it. I think this is probably going to be my favorite one because I absolutely love this color and I don't think I've ever done anything with Highland Heather that didn't come out absolutely positively gorgeous. All right, so I've got that inked up real good. We're going to um, put the die in there, make sure it's nestled down in there. Then we're going to get our piece of basic white and we're going to kind of think, all right, that's about where I want the heart and it's probably about right there. You're going to hold it down just a little bit and close the embossing folder. I think I might have that a little bit crooked, but, and then we'll take it over to the, um, cut and emboss machine and we'll, and we'll run it through. Now, remember when you run embossing folders through your embossing machine, you always send the fold in first, because the reason you do that is because as you run it through, you roll it through all the pressure as you run it through like this, right? All the pressure builds up towards the end. So if you were to run it through this way, all the pressure would build up on the fold and then you would break your, your folder. So you want to run it through so that the pressure can be released out through the opening there. So, all right, let's go run that through. I'll be right back. All right. So I've run that through. Let's open it up. Look how pretty that is. So I have my die. And we're going to use this die again. See how it nestles in there? It's hard to get off in there. Um, so let's wipe it so that when we use it on our next step, um, we don't get any ink on our card where we don't want it. So I'll wipe that with a baby wipe. Then I'm going to pull this off. This part pops out and you can save this piece for something else. Or you could put it on the inside of your card. It's so pretty. So you're going to go wash this and you're going to keep this part. Okay. So, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to decide, do we want our card to be on Highland Heather background? Okay. Or do we want it on gorgeous grape. Now this part's going to be white. So let's, let's take a look what that would look like. So it's going to be white inside, but I think I like it with, it just gives it more of a springy feel. I like the Highland Heather. So we're going to do Highland Heather. Um, and what we're going to do is this is cut at, this is our base and it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to go score that and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got my base cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it. I'm going to get my bone folder and I'm going to um, give it a nice crisp um, fold. Now, I don't like the way it cut right there, so I'm going to go and fix that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the base and we're going to have it folded and we're going to set it down and we're going to put our top on top of it. We're not going to glue it because we're going to cut out the center. So to know where we want it, we put the base right exactly where we want it. And then I'm just going to trace right there and I'm going to trace right there. So then that way, when I take it over to the embossing machine, I'm going to open it up like that. I'll actually send it through like this. And I'm going to place my die on there and I'm going to um, move it around until it matches what I drew. And, it, and when the drawing goes away, I know that I have it right. So you see, if it's like this, oh, look, I have drawing there and there and there. And that's not right. So if I move it up to here, oh, no, see, it's still not right there and there. So you have to 
turn it and get it exactly see now there's no you can't see the the drawing anywhere that way when i cut this out cut this heart out it'll leave a hole you know the hole where the heart is just like it is here and we'll put the white piece behind it and stamp it okay and that way it'll line up nicely with this piece all right so let's go cut that out okay so i've cut that out and then you can save this piece for something else now you have two beautiful pick that up <laughs> see me get it two beautiful hearts that you can do something else with all right so now what we're going to do is on the inside because we don't want it to be purple on the inside we're going to glue a white piece and that is cut at five and a quarter by four and we're going to glue that in okay and glue that on the inside all right now before we put our top on there we want to stamp in this spot and the stamp set that goes with the uh, hybrid embossing folder and the um, dies just get that a little bit better um is called love and happiness and all of these stamps fit inside that heart except for these three okay these three are a little bit too wide to, to fit inside this space but all the rest of them do so if you didn't want a wedding card or you want you wanted an anniversary card instead um you could do here's to another year of love laughter and happily ever after for wedding you could go happy wedding day you can even do a valentine valentine's greetings or to the one i love could be for birth, their birthday to the one i love for their birthday right wedding wishes is the one we're going to use you could go to the cutest couple ever you could go for my wife happy valentine's day friend for my husband if you're going to an engagement party or a, um, something like that you're engaged here's to love and happiness happy anniversary my love and congratulations okay i love this one i'm going to use this stamp at some point to make a card for my husband i love that all right but we're going to just go ahead and use our wedding wishes and it's going to stamp right in the center like that and you could use um like gorgeous grape okay but i'm going to use memento black because i just think that it stands out nicely in this card so we're going to go with wedding wishes and we're going to do this before we put that in there just so it's just a little easier i think and you're just going to stamp that down wedding wishes isn't that nice okay put that to the side now like i said you could take these hearts and and put them here but then you're not going to have any room to you know write your sentiment but you could use that for something else you could make a tag with these that would match your card how cute would that be oh my goodness i may have to make a video to do that all right um now what we're going to do is we're going to glue this top down okay we're going to glue it down and so let's put some glue on here and we're going to put glue oh come on i'm going to put some glue along the bottom and the sides and then i also like to put just a little bit at the top here and a little bit at the, at the bottom all right so then we're just going to lay this down so that it matches and then we have just those few couple of seconds to kind of turn it to where we want it so that it's just right look at that oh my goodness i love it now one more thing we have to do um we have to decide do we want to put a gorgeous grape oh i kind of like that gorgeous grape ribbon do we want to put this color ribbon i think that gets lost on it uh, or we could always do the white white's really pretty too oof i want leave me a comment and let me know what you think um i really like the the, the gorgeous grape i'm gonna pull in my 
bow maker. And I'm going to, I'm going to make uh, a bow, one of each, and then we can kind of really look at it. So when you use your bow maker, it's really simple. You start behind and then you go in between. I'm going to make a double bow. So that was one. And then you go in between again so that both uh, pieces are in the back. One, this loop goes around to the back. And then I, I snip this off so that we can use it. Okay. And then you just tie like you tie your shoe. Okay. This one goes in through the little hole that you make, the little loop. Okay. And you tighten it. And then I like to kind of bring them to the front and tighten them up because they just <laughs> make such a cute little bow. Look at that. So we have that one. Let's do a white one and then we can decide which one we like better. So let's do our little bow. Oops, do our bow in white. And then I have a feeling I'm going to like the purple one, although, you know, it is a wedding, so white is always good. Um, I would like would love absolutely love to um, get a comment from you as to which you like even that even if I don't choose the one that you comment on I would love to hear it because maybe I'll make another card and we'll use uh, that one all right so now we've made our bow I'm gonna set this aside and bring our card back in so we have our white which is so pretty and we have our purple. Ooh, I love it. Hmm. I mean, white is very wedding-ish, right? White is very wedding-ish for sure. But the gorgeous grape ribbon really brings out the colors. I think I'm going to go with the gorgeous grape because it does bring out the color. So if the bride is um, using lavender or uh, any shade of purple for her wedding, um, then that um, really kind of helps bring that out. So I'm going to put two glue dots on here. And then I'm going to adhere it right there. Oh, so pretty. And then I'm going to trim these down. And there it is. There you have it so so pretty so let's look at them again here's the highland heather um here's the one i did for my daughter in cherry cobbler and pacific point um this one is blushing bride and then this last one is um uh flirty flamingo so those are the four that I've done. Let me know which one you like the best. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos. Um, leave me a comment. Be sure to head over to www.debeststamping.stampinup.net for a complete look at all the products currently available. Remember, it is celebration, so uh, Stampin' Up! gives you a free item for er every time you order $50 or more. Well, for every $50 you order, Stampin' Up! will give you a free item out of the celebration catalog. And again, if you um, need a catalog, leave me a comment. I'll be happy to send you one. And remember that all orders of $40 or more receive a bonus gift from me. Leave me a comment and let me know which one you like the best. I love to hear from everybody, so I will comment back for sure. I hope you've enjoyed this and have a great day. See you next time.